the middle class? How much are they making? How are they spending their money? And how do you get out of that particular trap? What's up, go-getters? Welcome back to Milimani. And today, 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 ni mekuja ku attack watu. So if you know you're out there, you might easily, easily feel attacked by this video because we're talking about people in the middle class. So what we're doing this February, last last year in February, we talked about oh, pesa na mapenzi. But that's not more. This year, we're talking about the middle class. So we are going to be doing a series about who are the middle class, how much are they making? How are they spending their money? And how do you get out of that particular trap? All right. So that's what we're going to be looking at the entire month of February. It is dedicated to people in the middle class. All right. Sawa, sawa. So we're going to start with uh, who? <laughs> middle class, Nekinanani. Who is the middle class? How do we define that in Kenya? So according to a lot of data, a lot of statistics, I found that um, basically, they earn between 25,000 and 100,000 Kenya shillings, okay? Those are the people who fall, some reports were saying 25,000 and 120,000 Kenya shillings. These are the people who fall under the middle class category. But, there's a very big but. That is according to our country and according to our Kenyan government. But when you look at other countries, how they define middle class, it's about how much is left, okay? So he 25K, he 100K, it's about how much is actually left after you're returning every after your every month uh, bills. So once you pay your recurring bills, are you left with 25 to 100,000? Yes, no? Because if you're not left with 25 to 100K after your monthly bills, then you are below the middle class, according to other countries. But let's go with what our country says. If you earn between 25,000 Kenya shillings and 120,000 Kenya shillings, you are the one I am making this entire series for. All right, sawa sawa. So what are we going to be looking at specifically today? So today we are going to be looking at um, where does your money go? You know, the way you've been asking, you keep wondering, hey, to lilipua pesa angu ilienda wapi? Basically, that's what we're going to be looking at. How do the middle class spend their money? So, and I found that there are five key areas where your money is going as a middle class uh, Kenyan. Let me just call you as a middle class Kenyan. And number one, and this is kind of in order, Kiasi. So the very first thing where your money is going to is food and bills. Yeah. So that's a very big chunk of your money. It's going to food and bills. Every month, you mean you have your normal recurrent bills from your electricity bill to your rent and a very big chunk of your finances actually goes to these two things. So it actually goes to food, how much you and your dependents are eating, and it goes to bills, where you live and utility bills, okay? So that is uh, the number one area where your money is going. Number two area where your money is going is the malls and the bars. <laughs> so many, many, many of us as middle class people, what happens is that you are often, we go to the mall, yeah? Actually, according to a certain study, every single person who is in the middle class category they have to go and eat out at least once a month. So if that is defining you, okay, that is where your money is also going. And you, if you, if you are a drinker, that is also where your money is going. So shopping and eating out and bars, this is something that is definitely taking away some of your money. All right. So those are the first two. Number three, where is your money? Where is your money going? We have homes and cars. Now listen, as we keep going down this list you're going to realize a bigger sense of consumerism. So homes and cars, um, this is how much you rent. How much are you paying in your rent? How much are you paying towards your mortgage? Uh, how much is your car costing? Yeah, so home, uh, your home and your car is definitely a very big chunk where your money is going. And when you think about, um, when you think about this, you try to be more flashy. So in next week's video, I'm going to talk about uh, characteristics of the middle class people. So you're going to notice that you're going to be checking at least, I'm going to give you a very good uh, category, I mean, very good characteristics. So we're going to look at maybe 10 to 15 signs in next week's video. And where you're going to see yourself in, if you check more than eight of those boxes, you're definitely part of the middle class, yeah? And one of the things is you're going to be having a bigger house than, than you need, and you're going to be having a, a car that you can't afford per se, yeah? So you really, you really want to spend and look flashy and when it comes to home, it's not just about the house, 
but also about the neighborhood. So where do you live? Where many jirani ya kinanani? And that kind of a thing. Then item number four, that uh, where your money is going as a middle class person is kafroti, broti maguta maguta. So plots of land and, and shares. So those are things that you're completely obsessed about. The middle class earners usually only have two things where they consistently invest in. And this is shambles. We have... We, we as, as a Kenyan, as, as a nation in Kenya, we are truly obsessed with owning a piece of land. <laughs> like I do understand it's always going to appreciate. I do understand that it's a it's a good investment, but we are consistently investing in plots of land. And that's a middle class problem because our, our investing uh, our investment portfolio is often limited to either land or shares. And even worse, when it comes to shares, you find yourself buying individual shares. And when you do that, you're almost always going to make losses. Anyone who has bought individual shares likely is that year after year after year, they've been making losses. Uh, and we are going to cover that in a separate video. But owning a plot of land and owning shares is, this is the investment strategy of middle class earners. And so that is area number four, where your money is going. And sometimes we over focus. So you buy a piece of land. There's a friend of mine called Joe. He was making fun of someone who bought a piece of land somewhere deep in Gong, like somewhere in a forest. And, and you, you just want to have a title deed. Whether you do anything with that piece of land, you don't care. Whether you, either, you, whether you develop that, you don't care. As long as there's a, there's a shamba somewhere, as long as you own a title deed, that is all you care about. That is also somewhere else that your money is going into. So, and most likely, because you can't afford to pay cash, what happens is... I mean, for even for cars and the, the home ownership and when you think about the plot of land, you can't afford to pay cash. So you're constantly, obviously, paying some level of debt, all right? And then last but not least, number five, we have uh, where your money is going as an income, as a middle class uh, Kenyan is in betting. So betting sites, you're constantly trying your luck and you're often betting. And then number two, and this is not a bad thing, but it's also a dangerous thing somewhat, is that you're obsessed with saving. So if you are one of those middle class earners who would want to get rich quick, you often spend some significant amount of money in betting sites. So from Betika to Sport Pesa, any kind of gamble where you can easily make money. And betting isn't just about betting sites. It's also about you trying to get some kind of quick, get rich quick kind of scheme. Yeah. So you also find yourself, you have tried a few Ponzi schemes, you have tried a few, uh, you know, you've gone to, you've, you've gone to, you know, those areas where I can as GLD, where you, you're told if you bring people some pyramid schemes, if you bring people, you're going to make more money. So this is somewhere your money has definitely gone to if you're middle income, uh, middle income earner. Okay. And then the other thing we've talked about is you're obsessed with saving. So what happens for those middle class earners who feel like, you know, I'm a bit woke, I'm a bit more responsible, you're constantly obsessed with saving. And what happens is you like saving in banks and you like seeing that number crank up year after year after year. And you never ever invest that money. You're so afraid of investing because first of all, you don't want to see your savings go down. Then secondly, you're so afraid of losing your savings. So those are, that's another area, category number five, where you and I and other middle, class, uh, middle income earners are spending our money, all right? So if you fall prey of any of these five places, and you know, you, I'm sure you certainly fall prey. If you actually, if you check four out of five boxes, just give this video a thumbs up, like this video. And this whole month of February, we are going to be looking at, okay, who are middle class earners? How much are they making? Where is their money going? What is, what is the remedy to what I would call the middle class crisis? All right. So thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I'm going to be catching you guys next week. And until then, kick ass.